just laid a lovely egg. <laughs> just laid a lovely egg. Hi folks, welcome. 16th of September. We will talk more about the eggs in a minute. Ah, what have we been doing here in the studio? We've been busy doing something or other. Uh, a few things out here. Pots to show you. Yeah, some of these, um, as I described them, wavy bowls. With the shell imprints. Yeah, I was actually pleased with these, the way they came out. These particular ones. Uh, just a variety of... I was really doing that um, that wavy pulling, you know, to get a little bit of a wavy edge, which I was pleased with. Also, I've been playing around with some ideas for soap dishes. Um, Yeah, so soap dish, slightly ob oblong. It needs uh, a rest, doesn't it, for the soap so it's not sitting in a puddle of water. These are really all experimental. I was just kind of playing around with the clay, trying different things, getting different ideas. Um, Actually, in terms of soap dishes, I do have some other designs here. So, I'll just show you this one while we're talking about it. So these kind of soap dishes are to sit on the countertop. These ones are probably going to be too small. That's a better size once it's fired and shrunk. But, so these are not soap dishes that drain uh, you have to, to tip them out after a while. This is a different kind of soap dish, which is, this is a draining kind, which is actually thrown, thrown, thrown as a pot on, vertically, then put on its side and squashed when it's leather hard, or I should say soft leather, leather hard, and then the feet added, etc. I, I kind of, I, I dip it down, I dip it down using a, a tennis ball. I push, pushing when it's, you don't want it, you want this not to be pushed all the way down that it's touching. So there's like a gap, you know. So that's that. Oh yeah, I done some. I just done some plates here. I was just playing around with some. I've been a bit experimental slightly. Uh, some fishing nets. It's a sort of sea sea scene. Uh, the shell, the nets, the snails, the, the, the fish. Again here. Um, Trimmed not with a pedestal foot, just with a recessed foot only on the inside. Okay. Uh, other than that, yeah, these guys, more of these. Uh, similar designs, not all the same, slightly different. My cartoony fish. Paddled bottle form. This is a more loosely thrown form. And and then more netted and netted outside. That's using the net. Um, you know, if you get potatoes or something or carrots, they come in a net bag. 
Well that's using the netted bag. Oh, we're going to do a separate video on that, I guess. Uh, what am I talking about? I'm talking about this. You know, this stuff you get vegetables in. Using that, you actually wrap it around the outside of the pot and throw the, throw the pot with that in place and then pull it off. Anyway, so some of the things we've been doing uh, right now, right now, it's time, it's time for some boiled eggs. One of the things I was brought up with eating is boiled eggs. Well, boiled eggs, Simon, I don't know what that, what you're talking about, a boiled egg. I know what a fried egg is, but I don't know what a boiled egg is. Well, a boiled egg is an egg that is boiled in boiling water. As you can see, I've already made some there. An egg that is boiled in water, four minutes rolling boil. And here you have a commercial egg cup. All right. And here we have an old one I made in Spain years ago. Egg cup. Basically all it is, because what you do is, you see, when you, when the four minute timer goes and you whip the eggs out of the boiling water, you then put them in the egg cups, you see. And then you, with a spoon, you, you crack the shell all the way around, lift the lid of the, of the, the top of the egg off, and then you eat the contents from, with the spoon out, you see. It cooks the white of the egg, but the yolk is still slightly runny. That's the way I like it. <laughs> I go visit some of my Amish friends and I say, oh, well, how do you like your eggs, you know? And we're talking about eggs and cooking and that. And they say, and I, well, I say, yeah, I like my eggs such and such. They say, what? With the yolk not cooked? With the yolk runny? <laughs> okay, let's get on the wheel head. Okay, so I've got, I've got here, let's just, Bring, I'll just make one first at sort of that distance, then we'll bring the camera in. So I've got some clay lumps here. These are three and a half ounces. I've got a gauge set, all right. These are a little bit challenging uh, if you're not used to doing smaller things, simply because they, you know, they're just an uh, awkward size. To get your to get your hands around. Plus, I've got a gauge as well, so it makes it a little bit difficult. I don't mind admitting I'm finding them a little bit of a. Finding them a little, you know, just gotta. So I get anything that we make you know, that is repeat thrown in the pottery. You've got to, you've got to discover the technique. For every thrown form, there's a certain technique that you will develop. It'll be different from one person to another, but you, you've got to find the root, you know? So, yeah, these are, so the measurement, I've, 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 I've taken a measurement basically took the measurement off those off those those other ones because you've got to allow allow for shrinkage and it's rather important that you get the the measurement right so that it fits the egg, you know? You want to make sure that the egg sits nicely in the egg cup. You don't want it loose and rattling around. 
Yeah, I did set a gauge here, but I'm I'm just measuring it as well. I'm feeling a little bit like I'm a novice because I haven't made I haven't made egg cuts in years. Uh, I used to live in Spain. Nobody, nobody eats boiled eggs in Spain. Everything is fried, pretty much. And I'm pretty sure that hardly anybody eats boiled eggs over here in the US, but maybe somebody will correct me. All right. There he is. Let's just take the camera down, show him to you. Yeah. So th these are some of the ones I threw earlier. So as you can see, it's a sort of it's got a slight pedestal uh, foot here. Yeah, it has a, a little bit of gracefulness about it. Alright, let's whip him off. Gonna get on the oops, I just knocked the gauge. That's not clever. So these days I cut off pulling towards me. I, You know, I've cut off for years and I've taught and I've said, you know, if you're using a gauge, well, cut off pushing away from you because of the gauge. The thing is, if you cut away from you, as you cut the, the pot, it then will swing around and tend to smack into the gauge. Whereas if I pull it towards me, the inclination will be with the, the pot. Because when you cut a pot off the wheel, as you know, it usually moves it a little bit, you see. So it's then not running concentrically and is liable to hit the gauge, it'll be in the way. But if you pull towards you, as it's coming round, you'll have more time before it comes right round the other side and hits the gauge. It's a little thing you could try. Okay, let's bring in the camera here. I know you're all dying to make egg cups, aren't you? Well, uh, uh, are we? <laughs> yeah. Well, you will be after this. Yeah, this is a new way, a new, if you've never eaten a, an egg in this way, you don't know what you're missing. It's very comforting, you know, to have a boiled egg. I don't know why, but it is. A boiled egg, it's in the shell, it's cooked in with a shell on, you know. Yeah, you don't take it out of the shell, that's for sure. <laughs> so, just trying to get this centered up nicely. So you want to throw something Something like that to start with, and now we're going to break break in here. Form form the cup, you see. Yeah, comforting. Boiled eggs are comforting. They're nice. They're friendly. There's something about eating a boiled egg if you've never done it, and you eat it out of a little salt and pepper, and you and you dip. Uh, you know, and kids love them as well because oh, they'll, they'll say, "Oh, can we have, can we, um, can we have uh, toast soldiers or whatever?" You know, take take a piece of toast and cut it into 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 like fingers, you know, and then with butter, you know, and then kids they like to dip the dip the fingers or the soldiers, whatever you want to call them, into the.
into the egg, you see? Yeah. I don't know. It's a bit of an English thing, I guess. It's like Marmite, isn't it? Like what? Yeah, Marmite. You've heard of Marmite, haven't you? Yeah, it's that stuff that those weird English people eat. It's that, uh, it's that yeast spread. And that stuff that looks sort of brown and it tastes absolutely disgusting. American people don't like it, my mate. <laughs> you, we, we will torture you with Marmite. Yes, we will torture my American friends with Marmite. No mercy! Don't bring that Marmite anywhere near. So, Okay, you can look at that egg cup, you can see it's going round, you can see perhaps that the top is not, is not exactly flat, you know, like an industrially made pot. Don't worry about it. You won't see it when it's stationary, I can promise you. The only time you're going to see it is now while it's going around. That's the only time you're going to notice that. Because once you've made it and it's off the wheel and it's it's got an egg in it and all the rest of it, you aren't going to see that it's not like... It's my little... Uh, little thing about irregularity, you know. Somebody said there's beauty in irregularity. It's, it's absolutely true, you know. There is beauty in irregularity. Everything that's absolutely dead, symmetrical, dead... Think about it. I mean... You know, we love nature, don't we? We love going out in nature, looking at plants and rocks and soil and fields and trees and hills. Wouldn't it be, wouldn't it be boring if every time we went out everything was exactly symmetrical? Everything was just perfectly, perfectly equal, you know. Everything was sort of balanced out. No, couldn't have anything. Like every blade of grass was, every, every branch of every tree was just so, you know. Would that be boring? Well, the irregularity of nature is the beauty of nature and the irregularity of making pots that are now I'm not saying you know I mean certain pots you, you want to make them fairly consistent but other pots let's say more arty pots or more individual pots I don't know you know what I'm trying to say whoa Simon's getting deep Nah, not really. Not really. So the gauge, you see, is just giving me a... Um, an approximate size here for what I'm wanting. But you'll notice I am I'm I'm also kind of attentive and using my uh, using the calipers here as well. Um, just to be just to be sure, you know, that we are as close as Go and we've got one more to do, and we'll bring the camera out a little bit. We still filming? Yes. Oh, that's good. Yay! 
Yeah. Yes, thanks for all those who've written to me uh, in relation to my brother Johnny. Actually, I've got a picture that I can show. Some of you don't know who Johnny is, some of you do. But I, I have had a picture on the wall here for some time. I'll show it to you. It's a little bit of a... There he is. That's at uh, Much on the Pottery in Somerset. So a big shout out to all those at Much on the Pottery. John Leach. 1939 to 2021. Great potter, great teacher, great person. Taught me a lot. Um, yeah, I did actually go work for Johnny. When I started my, um, I started working for father. Uh, started working for my dad in 79 and then my dad was David Leach. So we're three three boys, you know. We're all potters, or we all we all became potters. Well, Johnny always wanted to be a potter. I never did. I just ended up being one, for better or worse. <laughs> and Jeremy, my other brother. In fact, both of my brothers, Johnny and Jeremy, both feature in my YouTube vid videos. If you go to my YouTube channel. You can see there under the heading something like visit to Lower Down and to see Jeremy. The pottery at home was called Lower Down. Or visit to Muchelney Pottery or visit to see Johnny. Um, yeah, you can see, you can meet them both there, so to speak. <laughs> If you wish but anyway yeah anyway I just wanted to say thanks for everybody all those who've written and the fact that I had a letter this morning from somebody an actual letter you know that somebody had written from San Antonio I was down in San Antonio recently big shout out to San Antonio all you guys down there who I met, Ron, Jennifer, gosh, all the other people who were on those workshops, Travis, yeah, made some new friends, it's always good, isn't it? Yeah, so yeah, I had a letter this morning, from, not from one of the people on the workshop, but from somebody who knew Johnny, because Johnny had actually been in San Antonio teaching, you know, years ago. And um, yeah, I'm going back to San Antonio actually. October 7th through 12th, I'll be in San Antonio at the, at the Throwing Gold Studio. Throwing Gold. Throwing Gold. Yep. Yeah. So, and another one bites the dust. There he is. So, what I want to do is I want to get myself together a little, uh, a breakfast set up, you know, one day and we'll have breakfast together, you know, on YouTube. How about that? <laughs> what? Breakfast? Breakfast with Simon. Well, yeah, I mean, not in the studio, you know, in the kitchen. Um, yeah, these wheels, I'm thinking that they're all, I've had a lot of people inquiring about that last wheel I spoke to you about being available. So I'm just about to ship out these batch of the next five. Probably going to be starting another batch of wheels. Uh, if you're interested in a leech treadle wheel, write to me. Get your name on a waiting list and we'll get one for you. If you want to come on a workshop here, in, an in-person workshop in this studio, 
then also write to me. There are dates that are on the website. Um, yeah, you can. The space, you know, at workshops, you know, we all know what a funny kind of year it's been, don't we? We don't need to go into any detail about that, but we may have our own thoughts on the matter. Uh, of course we do, yeah. Well, there it is, folks. It's breakfast at the pottery. <laughs> Coming up. Thanks for joining us, folks. As always, keep practicing. Keep practicing. And... Um, if you're making progress send me some images some photos of your work if something that I have done has helped you then let me know it's always good to know thank you God bless you take care bye bye